The dreaded copyright claim. How to solve it. How to avoid it. How to monetize all your videos. Easy. Click on this. Hi, this is Simon Leung from SimonLeung.com and today let's talk about what happens when you get this dreaded copyright claim. The funny thing about this copyright claim that you see on my channel right now is that it's actually from my own video. You see, when I shared with you several lessons ago about how to make videos without talking, I shared a sample video I had created and uploaded in October of 2007, which just so happened to have copyrighted music in the background. Crazy, right? There was no YouTube copyright policy back in 2007, so we had no issues. Fast forward almost 13 years later, I played that video within my own video and the copyright claim strikes. Actually, good. We'll use this as a lesson that I will share with you right now. You're welcome. Many YouTubers think it's the end of the world when YouTube gives you a copyright claim, but that's actually not true. In fact, it's very easy to fix. Last time, we introduced the YouTube audio library, which contains countless copyright free music. Remember? Here, at a click of a button, you can simply resolve your copyright issue by replacing the copyrighted music with royalty-free ones. YouTube makes it so easy. Not only do they tell you what the offending content is and exactly where it appears in your video, but they even let you replace that music in just a few clicks. Click here and you will be taken to the YouTube audio library, where you can choose the proper music to replace. Within your YouTube Studio Editor, select a section or sections that you want to replace, or the entire video if you want. Confirm, and voila, your copyright issue is resolved. All you need to do now is to sit back and wait while the YouTube Editor changes and renders your entire video. As soon as it's done, the copyright claim will disappear and you can monetize your video once again. Good times. Also note that as alternatives, you also have the options to mute the section with the copyrighted tracks or delete that entire clip. Although for most, replacing the music may be a more preferred option because then you won't have to delete any of your clips and your video can still be watched in its entirety. So there you have it. No need to worry about copyrighted music again and you will still be able to enable ad monetization with your compilations, including clips taken from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, or wherever else. In fact, all of you who have asked me questions about copyrights, you should be watching this video. And I really hope that you're watching. Plus, more ways to overcome potential copyright issues. Not to mention, in addition to ad monetization, we still have future lessons on monetizing YouTube videos with other methods as well. So stay tuned right here for more money-making strategies. Like this video if it was helpful to you. Share the value with your friends who will benefit and comment below how you will use this strategy to monetize your videos. And we can also either meet up live at my next event or connect online if you would like a personal consultation so I can help you personally. Take action now. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you at the top.